before I even get started in this video, real quick, I do have to shout out to all my new subscribers, all my followers, all the people that show love on my headshot photography video. I see all of you. I think that it's amazing that you guys have all learned so much from that video. So I'm so happy I actually helped you guys out. But I did just want to say thank you um, to everyone who has been watching the video and has supported the channel, you know, even the ones that were, you know, supporting the channel before the video dropped. So shout out to all you new subscribers, all you new visionaries. Thank you so much. And uh, let's get back on with the video. Whether you are a new content creator and you have minimal gear to get your creation projects off the ground, or you are looking to, you know, supplement your recording purposes with a new device or piece of equipment that can make your footage a little bit smoother, a little bit more professional, you know, maybe take some of that shakiness out of your hands. Well, today I'm going to be reviewing the Ziyun Smooth 5S. Now this is a handheld gimbal for your mobile phone. It works with iPhones, it works with Androids, um, so you won't have a problem being able to hook your phone up to it. Now, I will say this right off the bat, just so there's full transparency here, Zhiyun did reach out to me. I was not paid. I was given the product to you know try out and review, which I have done, but I am not going to sugarcoat my review on this. Now, that does not mean that this is going to be a negative review, but I wanted to let everyone know that yes, the company Zhiyun, they did send me this product, and yes, I am going to review it on their behalf, but that is in no way means that I'm going to give it a 100% gleaming all-star review if that is not the case. Now, I will get into the uh, negatives first because I like to end on a positive note. Let's get into it. The first con that I, I have with this is not even Ziyun's fault, but I will say that if you do have a upgraded iPhone, now I don't know how Androids operate, please in the comment below, you know, let me know if Androids, especially like the higher end Samsungs that compete with iPhones, um, if they have internal stabilization for their video. They probably do, but iPhone definitely does. And they've been really working on building that internal stabilization up through the different models. Now I have the i15 Pro Max. I have to say the stabilization on the phone is almost good or if not better than the stabilization that I got from this gimbal. Now that's not necessarily a knock on this gimbal, but if you do have a newer phone, I'm not absolutely sure that this gimbal in particular is going to give you much of a difference when it comes to stabilizing your footage, unless you're doing something unique. The mode screen where it shows you what mode, you don't really get a screen, like a big screen that will let you know what mode you are in when you're using the gimbal. There's a couple different um, gimbal modes you can use. It has a little like sliver of plastic that lights up with the abbreviated you know letters um of the mode that you're in the problem with this is, is it's just very small and when i was outdoors using this it was very hard for me to see what mode the gimbal was actually in the build quality is decent it's not terrible but if you are expecting something that feels like a premium product you're not going to get that design well, but I think that the build quality of it isn't that great. There's definitely cheaper and worse products out there, but I will say that it does feel a little cheap right out the box. What I do like about this uh, gimbal, I will say I've never seen one with this wheel on the side of it. And this wheel is a focus slash zoom wheel. So when you have your phone attached and you are connected to the Ziyun app, um, this wheel will use your phone's digital zoom to zoom in or out onto your subject. And if you need a quick little tap of the screen to refocus in on your, you know, your focus point on your phone, you can click the button and it will do that as well. Um, so I do think that's awesome. Another feature that I like about this is that it has a built in light. So if you are shooting in low light conditions, you will have this light to, you know, put some illumination onto your subject, which I think is awesome, especially for those nighttime, you know, content creators that may need some extra light when they're filming. Um, it does have different power levels and it gets pretty bright. And on top of that, if you feel like you still need extra light, this version, the combo version, comes with a light that actually fits right on top via magnet and it's powered through the gimbal itself. Right now there is another magnet slot on the bottom here. So if you want three lights, you can do three lights. All right, this is two right here. And as you can see, this is the power 
level of both lights on, full power, minimum power. And then if you want to add a little warmth to your light, you can put it on like that. You want to cool things down, put the blue one on, just like that. Now, how well these are going to work, I mean, I think you're probably just going to use it like that more than anything. And it's pretty bright. It is pretty bright. Like if you look at that's that's pretty bright. If you're video, if you're recording me on video, you know, I mean, I could actually use this as a little fill light for the right side. And now I'm looking super crispy. Look at that. Ah. So I have the DJI mic, and you know, you can hook it up to your cell phone. So I want to see if it would balance with the DJI receiver attached to the bottom of the phone, and it does. So if you do use a similar audio capture uh, device like I do when I'm out vlogging with my phone and you use the DJI, just know that you can, there is enough room to plug in the DJI receiver to the bottom of your phone and use it on the gimbal and still have it be stabilized. So you can still capture that crispy audio, um, you know, when you're using this gimbal. Very smooth. Good operation. And then you just twist and turn and do all that. And yeah, you're pretty much good to go. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is the app. Now, all of these gimbals, they come with an app and they have extra features in the app that will allow you to get the most out of the gimbal. Um, the app does have what I like to call a auto lock feature. So you can draw a square onto the screen and that it will just stay focused on that lock position. So if I am, you know, locking on to a subject and I move the gimbal left or right, the phone will turn left or right. I think it works pretty well, but you know, if you do move too fast, too soon, or if you take an awkward, you know, motion with it, it can unlock itself and lock onto something else, another subject in your screen, and that could definitely mess up your footage. So you definitely have to kind of, you know, I think it probably would work the best if it was in a stationary position, just sitting on a table, and you had it locked on someone and if that person started walking i think that would probably be the best motion for it i'm not sure handheld would be the best motion for the auto lock feature with the app um, but the app also you know allows you to you know get a deeper dive into your video controls when it comes to your phone um, you can select all the highest resolutions that your phone can offer through the app you can do panoramic you can do slow motion you can do um you know pretty much all of the main video modes that your phone can already do with its own native app through the Zhiyun app and it has a lot of tutorials and you know great ways to show you how to use the gimbal as well so i think the app is intuitive one thing i can say compared to uh like say the dji osmo handheld um gimbal the app never disconnected from my phone via bluetooth it was connected the entire time it never had any disconnect issues and i think that's why i kind of steered away from the iphone or the mobile phone gimbals because i had a dji osmo uh two and the app was just terrible it would always disconnect via bluetooth one up one second it's working the next second it's not the tech the connection and the technology behind the app was just terrible i didn't like it at all but i will say that ziyun has a pretty good app and it never disconnected via bluetooth so i will say that you can definitely count on the app you know performing well so you can get the ziyun smooth 5s gimbal um, for your mobile phone for anywhere between 160 to about $220, depending on what package or bundle you decide to purchase with it. So it really just depends on your budget. Um, do you need to spend the 220 to get all of it? I mean, I think this light is worth an extra, you know, 40 bucks to add on to it. Um, but it's really up to you know you and your budget and what you decide that you want to do um if you do want to go ahead and uh purchase it the link is below and also use code blah 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 to get 10 percent off on your next ziyun 5s gimbal from me to you Holla. overall it's a decent gimbal for your mobile phone I think that this one has a lot of great options packed into the app and onto the actual gimbal body that you will find useful. I do think that it can make some improvements in other areas, such as the build quality. You will get some smooth footage with it, regardless of your phone has internal stabilization or not. And I also think that, you know, as a content creator, you want to be able to put your best foot forward and this can help you do that. So once again, I think the Ziyun 5S is a solid pickup for anyone who's looking to step up their content creation game, especially if you use your iPhone or your Android or your mobile phone to do so. 
um, just make sure you double check to make sure that if you do have an older phone that it is compatible with the app because if you can't connect to the app you still will be able to use the gimbal but all of those extra features that I talked about that come through the app will not be accessible to be used and that is it the first video of 2024 is done and complete thank you so much for watching the channel and I will see you guys in the next video peace